Uh, we're back on again with uh, Thursday's roundup. A few more lambs about and a few less ewes. However, uh, more trade about. As you can see, slightly warmer than when we all first started this morning at the thick end of five o'clock with it uh, a lot nearer uh, to freezing. Uh, trade, however, still heating up and seeing an SQQ of 258.17 pence per kilo and an all in average of 257.88 pence per kilo. Showing those big, best fed lambs are still a very, very good trade. The light lambs all in average, that's the 32 to 39, is 253 pence per kilo. The standards are 39 to 45 and a half, average 259. The 45 to 52s average 259. And the overweights, the 52 pluses, average 244 pence per kilo. Lead of the day goes to uh, goes to some of the lambs in the last hundred of the 2,000 that we penned uh, from Jay Hurd and Kennedy uh, to top the day at 164 pence per kilo or 334 um, 164 pound per head, sorry or 334 pence per kilo. Plenty more lambs from several different vendors uh, with the regulars uh, M and A Gaskin topping at 161. Uh, with others from this tremendous run to 150 to leave them to all in average 146. Uh, Messrs Whittington up from uh, Newark to top at 160 with JP Coatsworth and Sons to 160 also. TW Clark and Son with some big fed lambs to 158. Uh, while Ken Bell uh, making the journey down, seeing highs of 150. Messrs Chapman to 150 also with pen after pen uh, from others to 150. W Denham uh, seeing highs of 149 with uh, Stephen Lamb seeing tops of 148 those big bed best sorry fed lambs regularly 140 pound plus onto the pence per kilo as already mentioned topped uh, by super trio uh beltex bred lambs from the herds at 334 pence per kilo messrs whittington close behind at 333 uh, with the gaskins uh very very close behind at 328 with a super pair of beltex lambs C.H. Uh, Tyndall to 320 pence per kilo, our tremendous run from AWSM Farms, weekly supporters to 310 pence per kilo, along with Stephen Lamb to the same height, and Claire Wise seen 310 pence as well. Jay Milbank to, uh, to 306 pence per kilo, uh, with Ken Bell not to be outdone, uh, with W. Denham to uh, a top of 300 pence per kilo also. Plenty of those best fed lambs up around the 300 pence per kilo mark, uh, with the good runs of straight grass-fed lambs, as long as they meet regularly 250 to 260 pence. Must be said, the lighter, leaner end are still only 235 to 245, 250, uh, and the lighter end are probably looking slightly better sold on a Monday. Cool use, uh, slightly fewer about this week, however, still a tremendous trade for the goods on offer. It's a level at 82.77 for a top... Uh, from B. Needham uh, down from Barnard Castle to 166 with some Texels with others to 150. Uh, while Bridgehouse Farming top at 140 uh, along with Emma Moorcock to the same of 140. Ken Bell with a super pair of uh, Texels to 136 and uh, P. Coburn to 139 with R.A. and J. Blythe to 134 with Claire Wise uh, to 130. Plenty of those best ending continental ewes regularly uh, at the thick end of 130 to 40 pound plus. Uh, meat, not fat, the easiest to place. So anybody with uh, fit ewes and not fat ewes, don't hesitate to give us a call to get them marketed. Those best ended uh, big fed mules are regularly 80 to 90 uh, pounds per head uh, with the leaner end 60 to 70. And a few hilly hours mixed amongst the averages this week, uh, regularly 30 to 40 with some meat about. Huge thank you to everyone that's been and supported this week, buyers and vendors uh, and the staff that keep us running. Don't forget, uh, for any machinery people, or if it's a little bit wet on Saturday, we've got our machinery sale uh, catalogue and all the details are online. Uh, we will start with the small tools at 9 8.30, uh, 9.30, 9.30, sorry. We'll start with the small tools at 9.30 in the cattle shed and out in the field at 10 o'clock. Uh, with a super run of machinery, uh, with plenty to go at with some straw blowers, feed troughs, a lot to get you all kitted up, ready for winter. So if we don't see you all Saturday, we'll see you back on Monday with the thick end of 2,000 uh, store lambs expected to be through the pens.